you know that guy, that Captain Disillusion? Oh, I love Captain Disillusion. Sometimes he makes great mealtime videos, and they'll just have his time. And, like, you'll sit there, you'll be like, ah, I got a grilled cheese sandwich. I need, like, six minutes, you know? Have you watched his uh, presentations he does? Like, because he gets called to, like, do various, like, presentations, like, at a, no, at a conference. No, I have not. He is by far the best presenter I have ever seen. Like, he has coordinated, like, he stays in character for his presentations. And the problem is Captain Disillusion has makeup all over his face. Yes. I mean, I don't know if you know the, the backstory to Captain Disillusion, but he's a robot who cut off somebody's skin and is wearing the skin over the top half of his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he has that makeup, <laughs> which makes it seem cooler in a way. But so a conference, he can't just show up and just do it as himself. He needs to... He needs to show up, and if Captain Disillusion is going to give the conference, he needs to come up with a way to make, like, so for example, the most recent one, he's going to take a wormhole to the conference, and he has his intern, Alan, at the conference, and then the wormhole messes up, and it just swaps their minds. So Alan goes into the mind, or goes into the body of Captain Disillusion, and Captain Disillusion's mind goes into the body of Alan. So the intern, who is just him without makeup on yeah. stage, gives the presentation as Captain Disillusion. But doesn't and, do the makeup thing? Yeah, well, without the makeup. But in the on a video he cuts to once in a while is Captain Disillusion in makeup as Alan, like trying to fix stuff on the ship <laughs> to come back to the stage and continue the conference. It's just like that level of Does orchestration. He, has he done a TED Talk before or something like that? Uh, yeah, just... he's done a TED Talk too, I think. I'm but a, he, I'm yeah. a, I'm or No, a Skeptics set. Talk. He did a talk on a okay. Skeptics conference. Because, you know, obviously his whole channel is kind of based around skepticism. Yeah. Um, of videos. You know, kind of what we were talking about. Everything's fake. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's one guy that I've been watching for, like, every, like, I guess, like, six years ago or so. Like, every, like, year, I'd be like, oh, yeah, this guy. And I'd watch, like, five videos in a row. And then mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, yeah, this guy. But he never got the love that I feel like he's really fully deserved. Yeah. Like, even just putting on that makeup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's that's commitment. Yeah. yeah, he likes it. He loves it. He loves he he loves what he's doing. That's good. I feel like he's finally getting the recognition. You know, he's not going to be huge. He's never going to be a team tenor. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like he's achieved at least the dream that he's never going to get big enough where like his big brother will fuck his girlfriend. Right. Yeah. Maybe that's for the better. <laughs> but he is uh, <laughs> he is big enough now where he can be making a living doing what he's doing full time. And good. I feel like at the end of the day, that's the dream. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing is when people are always like, oh, what do you want to do? Like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, I kind of want to just continue going where I'm going because I know what I do right now is a pipe dream for many people. Yeah. Even though I have ambitions and I want to continue doing it, like, that's that's how it is. Like, even for yourself, like, as much ambition as you might have for where you want to go from here or how much it can grow or what quarter digital could be even more is it's already reached that point where it's pipe dream status for people. Yes, very much and so. And so I want to continue surfing that that wave. I want to continue doing that. And yeah, I do have aspirations. I do have things that I want to keep doing, but I still want to maintain what this is, you know? Like, I want to keep doing it. Like, I love, I love doing what I do. I love that it still exists. You know, I love that it's still a thing. I've never been one to chase views. I've never been one to chase money. Mm -hmm. I've always lacked uh, like strong business ideals. Mm -hmm. um, I've Wait, always... You say that, but you've ran a successful YouTube business for eight years. That's this world that we live in. I I would be terrible. Like I watch movies, I watch TV shows, I read books, and I'm just like I would suck there. Oh. Like I would suck. Like if you got me like, like like in real life. Yeah. Like if it was like, you know, you had me like in ancient Greece or like, oh, big man, let's show him how to fight. Like I'm dead so fast. <laughs> you know, like I'm dead so fast. Or like, you know, like if if it was like, you know, like the depression, like I'm not I'm not there on time. You know, I'm not a punctual guy. And mm. punctuality is like a very important business aspect. And uh, you know, being a teacher. Have you ever had a high school teacher like show up ten minutes late to class or fifteen minutes late to class? You're you're legally allowed to leave if they do show. That's up yeah. That's that is the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it said outside my door. You're not legally allowed to leave. It always <laughs> said that. Um, but like yeah, like I I I can thrive and I'm always so happy that I live in this time in this world. I've I, I it's not like I am fortunate internally myself. It's like I'm fortunate externally with the world. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm 33 and you're like you're telling me that like there's Marvel movies, 
uh, Marvel Comics, anime is popular, video games are popular, the internet is monstrous, like everything I learned growing up in high school that like being in the quote unquote like friends with cool kids, you know, like I played on football and stuff like that and like I had lots of cool friends, all the things that like I would have to hide from them or that were uncool to them are like the cool things now. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that, much. like I'm lucky for that. I'm lucky that like, you know, I could play video games and make that a job. I'm lucky that I could, I, a Marvel movie can come out and I could be like, well, you know what? In the nineties and I could talk, you know, about the nineties Marvel world for an hour and put it up as a video and people want to watch that. Like I'm lucky for that stuff. The world that we are in is one that I was able to thrive in, not because of me, but because the things I loved by chance ended up being the most popular things in the world. 